Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Let's practice our new bird poem. I think it is a funny thing that some birds whistle and others sing. The warbler warbles in his throat. The sparrow only knows one note, but he is better off than some, for hummingbirds can only hum. I have a book I wanted to read to you. It's called A Nest is Noisy. I'll read you the words and then I'll show you the pictures. A nest is noisy. It is a nursery of chirp, chirping. Buzzing, squeaking, peep, peeping, bubbling babies. A nest is welcoming. Many birds assemble a cradle for their eggs, knitting together leaves and twigs and softening it with grass, hair, moss, fluffy seeds, leaf skeletons, or a snake's old skin. They might also add bits of paper or cloth. A nest is enormous or tiny. One of the largest bird's nest is the dusky scrub fowls. The smallest bird's nest, I think you can guess what kind of bird it is. The hummingbird. It's a golf ball sized cup of moss, bark and leaves. A nest is spiky. Elf owls and cactus wrens select a prickly nesting place as a refuge from slithering snakes and other hungry hunters. A nest is pebbly. Eel-like lampreys use their suction cup mouths to move stones the size of peas, walnuts, and even baseballs for their nests. A nest is papery. Hornets, yellow jackets, and paper wasps scrape fibers from weathered wood and chew it until it's a moist paste that dries into a tough paper-like material. Remember when we read the book about eggs, we talked about how more kinds of animals besides birds have eggs, while more kinds of animals besides birds have nests. Or even bubbly. African gray tree frogs make a foamy nest for their eggs in branches overhanging water. A bubbly nest. A nest is hot. Some South American overbirds forge an adobe oven made with thousands of mud and clay pellets. Baked in the sun, the nest is a cozy place for their eggs. A nest is hidden. Oh, we know about these kinds of nests. In spring and summer, tens of thousands of female Ridley sea turtles ride the waves together into Gulf Coast beaches and drag themselves up to the dunes. Remember we learned about sea turtles? We know about their eggs and they make their nest in the sand. A nest is neighborly. There is safety in numbers. Some nest builders live in colonies where there are more ears and eyes to raise an alarm when predators, animals that eat other animals, are near. Army ants make living nests called bivox. Clinging to one another's legs and jaws or mandibles, they form a writhing ball of millions of ants suspended from a branch by a chain of more ants. A nest is peculiar.
A nest is muddy. Flamingos erect a heap of mud, grass, and stones up to 12 inches tall and then lay a single egg in a depression at the top. Flamingo nests. A nest is adopted. Some creatures choose nests made by others to brood their offspring. So sometimes the birds just find old nests and they use those instead of building them. A nest is noisy, buzzing, swishing, rustling, flapping, and humming with babies, but only until they are ready to fly, swim, or crawl away. Then a nest is quiet. The end. Thanks for listening. See you later.